Claudia Mahongo Zezrak was born on May 26, 1956, in the town of Mazatlan, Mexico. She was the youngest of her family. Claudia was a socially friendly girl, and she was popular among her friends. In her youth, she was named Mazatlan's beauty queen. After graduating in commerce, she married Alfredo Castanos Gutierrez. They had three children. After the death of her parents, the family inherited a sizable amount of money and moved to Querétaro City. There, the three children were enrolled in the Catholic school, Colegio Fray Luis de Leon, where Claudia Mahangos worked as a catechism teacher. Claudia later opened a fashion store downtown. Claudia and her husband began to have marital problems. She began to display signs of emotional instability, according to relatives and friends. The couple attended marriage counseling. Unfortunately, this wasn't successful. Shortly after, Claudia became obsessed with Father Ramon, another teacher at the Colegio Fray Luis de Leon. Claudia and Alfredo separated in 1989. When Claudia was 33 years old, she began to experience severe psychotic attacks. These attacks reportedly involved hallucinations of demons and angels, which left Claudia psychologically decomposed. For several days Claudia had been hearing strange voices in her head. She did not talk to her ex-husband about it, as he had always claimed that she was crazy. On April 23, 1989, Claudia's husband picked up their children from school and brought them to Claudia's house. There, Castanos and Claudia engaged in an intense argument. He probed her about Father Ramon and articulated his desire to get back together. Claudia defended Father Ramon and rejected Castanos's desire to rekindle their relationship. Before he left, Claudia threatened Castanos saying that he would be sorry. After locking the door behind him, Claudia went upstairs to tuck her children in bed and went to sleep. A few hours later on April 24, 1989, at around 4 in the morning, Claudia Mahangos awoke to loud voices in her head. She stated that the voices told her that Mazatlan had disappeared and that all of Querétaro was a spirit. Desperate, Claudia called her friend Veronica Vasquez who asked Claudia to calm down. Her friend Veronica promised to come in the morning to help her. Following the call, Claudia got out of bed, dressed, went to the kitchen, and took three knives, while her children still slept peacefully. At about five in the morning, Claudia woke up her six-year-old son, Alfredo, and attacked him with a knife. Leaning on the child's bed, she grabbed his left hand and completely amputated it. The boy screamed in pain and terror. Awakened by the noise, Alfredo's eldest sister, 11-year-old Claudia Maria, came to the room and begged her mother to stop. Switching knives, Claudia rushed over her eldest daughter and stabbed her six times. Wounded Claudia Maria managed to leave the room and loudly pleaded her mother for mercy. The screams of pain and despair woke up the neighbors. Claudia took the third knife and stabbed her nine-year-old daughter Anna Belen in the heart. Claudia ran downstairs, searching for Claudia Maria, who had fainted on the dining room floor and stabbed her again. She then dragged her upstairs and placed her lifeless body in the master bedroom. She cleaned off the two knives and took the third and then tried to cut her wrists and chest trying to kill herself. Next morning Veronica Vasquez, Claudia's friend arrived as promised, she went upstairs and saw the three children laying dead in the bed. Veronica immediately called the police. On one side of the children was Claudia, her clothes were also stained with blood, her eyes were half open the policeman thought that she was already dead, but after realizing that she was still alive, they transferred her to the nearby social security hospital. Her first statement was taken on April 27, 1989 at 11.30 am. Three days after she had massacred her children, she blamed the priests who she supposedly loved Father Ramon. She said that Father Ramon spoke to her telepathically and that he continued to work mentally and that her husband also tried getting back with her and worked through her mentally and the pressure was so great that she lost control afterwards. 
the Mexican authorities made sure she was examined by psychiatrists and neurologists. The doctor's report was a psychiatric mental medical and physical evaluation of Claudia, which resulted in the conclusion that she was suffering from schizoaffective disorder, which is a medical disorder. September 19, 1991, it was decided that ordinary criminal procedures should be suspended and it was agreed by the legal teams that Claudia should receive a 30-year sentence for the triple murders of her children. However, many questions still remain to this tragic story, now almost 30 years from when the terrible event happened. Claudia released in June 2019, after completing her 30 year of incarceration.